In Amos 6, Amos is using the art form of poetry to kind of hold up a mirror to the culture, to show them how far from God they had wandered. Israel had become very prosperous as a country, and in doing so, they became prideful and arrogant. They no longer depended on God, and in their current state, they believed they had evolved beyond needing to follow God's commands. Chapter 6 reads like a list of symptoms of a person or people who have rejected God in their hearts. One of those symptoms is how they worshiped God through song. Listen to verse 5. You sing trivial songs to the sound of the harp and fancy yourselves to be great musicians like David. The Hebrew word used for sing here is unique. It isn't anywhere else in the Bible. It's the word parat, and it means empty words. The definition uses the picture or example of small worthless coins or change, or a talkative man who scatters his words without meaning. As a worship leader, this verse convicts me. How many times do we find ourselves distracted during worship, maybe even singing words we're not thinking on? The worship portion of a church gathering is important. It's an exercise in meditating on the goodness of who God is. And while worshiping through music isn't everything, it's important enough for Amos to point it out as a barometer of our spiritual relationship with God. May we all learn to worship with the presence of mind and the intentionality of David in Psalm 22. I will proclaim your name to my brothers and sisters. I will praise you among your assembled people. I will praise you in the great assembly. I will fulfill my vows in the presence of those who worship you.